Hello everyone. Some scientists believe that birds evolved from dinosaurs. But how did those giant turned into elegant, light-weighted creatures with wings? The answer is evolution. Every one of us has some vague idea about evolution, right? Remember the beetles we talked about in our previous lesson? A different beetle in green color evolved because of sudden variation. Then, because of survival advantage provided by green color, it survived and reproduced and its offsprings got that green color. And they too survived and reproduced while the other red beetles were constantly hunted down by crows because they were easily visible on the green leaves. Thus, green body color became the common trait in the population as red beetles almost perished. It may seem very harsh, but that is how nature works. Now, that beetle was born with green body color because of certain mutation in chromosome. It didn't turn green during its lifetime. But people in olden days believed that the characteristics that were gained by organisms during lifetime because of their effort to survive were passed down to generations. Jean Baptist Lamarck came up with a theory for such a change. He thought initially giraffe was the size of a deer and then because of shortage of food, maybe because of shortage of grasses and shrubs, they started stretching their necks to reach lower branches of trees. So, there was a continuous effort to stretch the neck for generations and thus they developed longer necks. The characters that are developed in lifetime are called acquired characters. Lamarck said such acquired characters can be passed down to next generation. This theory was famously known as inheritance of acquired characters. But there is a big flaw here and we shall soon know about it. So coming back to Lamarck's theory, Lamarck proposed theory of inheritance of acquired characteristics which says if an organism changes during life in order to adapt to its environment, those changes are passed on to its offspring. Augustus Weissman did something interesting which proved Lamarck wrong. What did he do? He surgically removed the tails of rats for many generations. They all lived without tails. Obviously, they must have got accustomed to live without tails. But even generations after generations, to be precise, 22 generations living without tails, new mice the surprising thing to know is all the new mice were born with tail. This means such bodily changes are not inheritable. So these characteristics won't be passed to the offsprings. Now we are back to square one. Then how did the dinosaur turn into birds? We shall learn this in the next class. Until then, bye bye.